Today on Facts at Five, we're going to talk about wellness. If you've been sitting home in COVID, not getting your nails done or a massage or your hair colored, well, we're slowly getting out and about now. And joining us today at Facts at Five is someone who is opening a new storefront on Newtown Lane. Yes, in the middle of this pandemic in August. He's a celebrity facialist. His name is Tuyan Nguyen, and he lives in East Hampton. And he's been doing this for 25 years. 25 years. And he's an amazing person, and he's going to give us some accessible tips about how we can feel and look our best in a time where we need to. It's yes. been so stressful. It's, I mean, how has this really impacted, you know, what people are doing and um, what you're doing? You know, I, I think the the, uh, the hardest thing to see is that people have been so tunnel visioned into COVID that they, especially women, you know, I'm a yeah. big uh, activist for women, um, and they've kind of let go of everything. Um, but it's, I think they're realizing that it wasn't just going to get your nails done, yeah. it was taking time for yourself. Yeah. And I think that's something that uh, And we even, felt like we had all the time in the world. I mean, I yeah. was like, we're, I'm, I'm stuck here. Yeah. And, and if I can't clean out my sock drawer mm -hmm. now, <laughs> what, what, when? And yet yeah. I couldn't, you know, very little did I, I mean, I was looking, you know, I finally yeah. got my hair cut in color, but it. Well, let's be honest, like women are nurturers and in the yeah. house with the whole family, yeah, like yeah. I said, no matter whether the father's home and the grown, yeah. everybody goes to the mom. She's the center. Yeah, She's the access. Yeah. Right. And so they, um, even things that uh, some of my clients, when I've talked to them on the phone, when I couldn't work with them, yeah. they were, I would say literally because I, I'm like a friend. So I say, you know what? Lock the bathroom door right. for five <laughs> to 10 minutes and put a sign and just, you know, do something for yourself. Take a bath, whatever. Yeah. Um, but now you don't have any, you have yeah. to make the time yeah. because you're in the same home. <laughs> right. Well, I want to just say to yeah. our audience, if, if you haven't ever experienced to an, it, he is a celebrity facialist, but he has been very successful at this. Every red carpet person from uh, Cindy Crawford to Michelle Williams, um, I mean, tell them some of the people that you work uh, with. Jimmy Fallon, Uma, you know, Natalie Portman, Jen Aniston. And it's a face, it's like a face exercise, right? Uh, you, I, I created about... a facial uh, passive exercise approach to facial massage. Okay. And it's, it's like a sculpt and tone. Right, so you have magic hands. Uh, I do, but okay. I think everybody has a sense of massage, and I, that's another thing. Um, I'm always asked, what can I do if I can't afford to come to you or I can't get to you? Um, you, have, you, you have it in your hands. How important is skin wellness and, and, and body oh, wellness? Uh, you know, it, it's not just uh, superficial. The skin is, I, I think most people forget that we learn. I mean, I was raised from kindergarten. I, I was from Vietnam, but I was raised in America from kindergarten. I, I only speak English, actually. Um, but we learned in school that the skin is our largest organ. Right. So the skin dictates a lot to do with immunity and lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is your gar garbage disposer. If you don't move your massage your skin at, at some point or have movement, just like a lot of people have been stagnant during right. this time and right. frozen by fear, um, you're actually compensating the lymphatic system, which is needed because that's taking out a lot of your. Okay. You know, I've noticed people that report to me that they became more bloated during this time. Right. Well, I and thought there was water. people drinking. I mean, that was horrible. Well, that, 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 I, I, that, I heard a lot of that. I got to say, it know. was rose all day. Yeah. It was, you know. The Wolf for me, it's the tequila drive-through is a yeah. perfect example. Like, pick up a bottle and go. Yeah. For me, it's tequila takeout all day. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but let's talk about what people uh -huh. can do, and I want to talk about. Yeah. First of all, you worked in is it naturopathic? Uh, my first job out here, because right? uh, pe even though I became published around the world for my facials, right. The funny running joke in my clients is that when I start doing their shoulder, doing the facial, they're like, "Oh my God, you'd be an amazing massage therapist." I started out first as a massage therapist. Uh, I, my, my whole facial is, is rooted to massage therapy, which is the oldest form of anti-aging and right. healing. Um, so you worked out there. And my first job out here in East Hampton was when I was 27. Uh, okay. Barbara Close, the owner of Naturopathica, okay. hired me right on the spot. Right. 
Um, she even, when I massaged her for the test, she turned, it was a Sunday, I remember, she turned <laughs> the her interview. head. interview. Yeah, she said, <laughs> oh, she said, oh my God, you have the gift. Can you start today? Right. And uh, quote unquote, I said, oh no, Barbara, I don't have a house out here. I have to go back to the city and I'll come back next Sunday. Right. So I used to take the train yeah. to the city uh, and come back out, but and eventually I was able to make this my home. But you, you were in Rain, Wayne Scott for a long time, right? Where yes, LTV for almost happened. 10 years. I had uh, the spa, it was first called La Don Spa, then Facer Size Studios. Right. Um, so let's talk about yeah, the new venture now, which is going to be on Osborne and Newtown Right, Lane, in the heart of which East is great. Village. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um, it's, it's taking what I've done for 25 years uh, with clients and brands that I've come in contact with that I've tested um, because I also became a consultant uh, yeah. for wellness. Yeah. I've set up uh, private uh, spa rooms for clients. I've guided clients that have confusion with brands, that they don't know what is what. Um, I became a bartender, I say, on the table with women that tell me things they won't even tell their own husband. I'm sure. Once or I the can. girlfriends. <laughs> so I've been able to re list and, and uh, research, but um, this store is really about taking everything I've learned and there will be a private treatment room in the back where right. I can uh, do my magic or I will have other practitioners from the city that I, from acupuncture. When is this opening? Uh, we're launching August 1st. Wow. Um, yeah. That's and encouraging because when businesses are being threatened during this COVID, it's great to hear that a new storefront right on Newtown Lane yeah. in East Hampton is opening. I like that. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's something I've always wanted. And I think, uh, if anything, it, it happened perfect timing yeah. because uh, the store is going to be built around boosting your immune system, your vitality, your mental, your Good. spiritual health, uh, things that you need to to conquer stress. Because as I always say, and a massage therapist knows the most of all, stress is the number one factor that yeah. links us to every single problem or mentally, physically. It is a medical fact that stress leads to all diseases. And people think, oh, yeah. stress is just like being hustle and bustle. Yeah. Stress can be subconscious where you're worried about something and yeah. you're grinding your teeth at night. I used to do that. Yeah, 90, yeah. 95% of my clients uh, have TMJ. Well, I want to ask you, uh, separate from, I know you have the product line in the store, but it, mm -hmm. affordable tips for people uh, to help their wellness and their their your skin tone and whatever it is that you you oh, yeah. you think is is something that's important to do. What, what would you say to people who like an average person who says, you know, yeah. I, I want to feel better about myself well, and just look better? The reason why uh, I'm going to preface this with I was raised on food stamps, yeah. HUD housing, Florida ghetto, uh, trailer park, so I know yeah. what it uh, how to make things happen. Um, the simple thing with the lymphatic system, you can either buy a dry brush, a soft bristle brush uh, from the CVS or something, right. or you can take, a uh, wrap a dry towel, right. and you brush from your extremities, from your toes and your uh, fingers toward the heart. Wow! You're, that's you just stimulating. Brush your whole body yeah, up. that's stimulating the lymphatic system. Wow! Um, of course, you can get a lymphatic massage, but you but you can't get you know most people even. Even people with money can't do that every day. Right, you right. just don't have the time. Right. So I always do a dry brushing real quick before I go to the shower. And what that does is your, your lymphatic system has no pump. It's parallel to your circulatory system. Right. So it needs a manual function. You can get it a little bit by walking and exercising, yeah. but manually targeting it by going from the toes, brush, 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 up to the groin With a area. regular brush? Yes, covered with you can use a brush, you can use a dry washcloth, you can use your hands even, but that brushing motion pumps That's great. Pumps the um, lymphatic system because that's your garbage disposer. Okay. The other thing, like with your skin, if you can't go get a facial, uh, one of the things I recommend for people um, on a budget is go to a health food store, not the grocery store, get organic grapeseed oil. It's a very good middle of the, um, it's actually in my uh, okay. face oil. Okay. And you can use that. And what you do is you just, every, you just massage your face. 
everybody has some sense of massage. They've either massaged their baby or their boyfriend. Is it, is it up, we're socially distant, yeah. so he can't show me, <laughs> which is too bad, but is it up here or is it all over the face? Um, you know, I always say just like a car wash. But I'm not supposed to be touching my face during COVID. <laughs> no, but huh? I have to be careful well, about you're washing your hands. After obviously. you, uh, of course, you want to cleanse your, you, yeah. you don't want to go from outside to one or two. Obviously. But, 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 during, but during this period, too, you have to be extra careful, obviously, when you open up your, your new um, place on Newtown. Obviously, everybody's going to be wearing masks, right? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to have like a temperature uh, taker. Um, okay. Uh, uh, I think we're going to have standard with hair hand dough. sanitizer, yeah. um, and we're not going to, uh, you know, ultimately the space. Every, every even my spa in Wingscott yeah. was appointment only. Yeah, um, wasn't a high traffic. Good. Um, I don't expect it to be that way, and you know, I, I think people have to just be both smart, but also. Uh, I think the worst thing is to be so afraid that you're neglecting yeah. yourself. Right. And I think that's ultimately what we're going to find as we go forward with this, is that the neglect is yeah. going to end up leading us to other issues. Massage yourself, your face. Yeah. Brush Massage your body. You can brush your body. Brush your body. Yeah. Anything um, else? And then no. we got to go. You know, do your routine. Your, you know, walk, uh, get outside. Vitamin D is it's really so, crucial yeah. for, especially with viruses. Um, I do a green juice every day. Do you? Um, yeah. I, I've done it for 20, I've guided people on green juice. Wow. I was doing green juice before Juice Press was, you know, even open. I have a Vitamix. Um, sitting on the shelf. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, it, there's so many things that you can do, um, but I think what I found working with thousands of people for 25 years, yes. and I'm talking about dialoguing with everybody, is that people tend to almost overthink things that they don't, they act like a deer caught in a headlight where they never act on anything because they're th constantly thinking, yes. what is the perfect way to right, do right, it? Right, right, right. Yeah. So the new place is called? Uh, it's going to be called Curated by Tu Yen. Okay. Um, August 1st. Yes. Newtown Lane yeah. and Osborne on Newtown, the corner. Like, yes, at 94 Newtown, okay. right across from uh, the Wittendales. Great. Nursery. I love Wittendales. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a green thumb, so oh, I love the fact cool. that I can see, you know, see green. We actually live on the same block <laughs> in Springs, by yes. the way. Another <laughs> six degrees of separation. Well, thank you for joining us at Facts yeah, at Five. I can't wait to come into the new place when it opens. Yes. And thank you for sharing yourself with us at thank Facts you. at Five. And I hope everybody's well and taking some of these tips to heart, literally, yeah. and head. It's important. Okay. Thank All right. You. Thanks, Jim.